what better way to start off with Dark Road for a video would be to probably pull. We have basically nothing right now. I did play a bunch. So we're going to go ahead and go to shop. We're going to do our free pulls first. And then we are going to go ahead and do some pulls that we have to spend jewels for. And this is really cool. This looks totally different. That's a, a magic boost. So I guess there's a bunch of different types of cards that we can use in this game. This is really cool. It's a whole nother cinematic look to it. That is a sliding dash. I wonder if you pull 10 if it's just like uh, Union Cross. That is Blizzard, so that's magic. This game is pretty cool. The only thing I think is a little bit weird is that there is no walking. I mean, that's probably better that there's no walking around, but there is no walking around. Like, you can't really explore things. You kind of just have to wing it and just go through battle after battle after battle. I play auto anyway. So, dark break. Now, they do have some really cool specific cards that you can get, kind of like higher end cards which are like key arts so I'm hoping to get a key art somewhere down the line oh look at that so when you get a double it it automatically levels the one you have that's pretty cool that is that is legitness and we're gonna pull 10 from one of the other banners cure okay that's good you have cure which is definitely probably needed. Because I don't think my characters can cure each other right now. That is a potion. I wonder if these are like discarded once you use them. Like potions and stuff. That's something to kind of take into consideration to think about. Since this is a new game. Alright, we have Queen of Hearts. That is all my ticket pulls. And what I'm what I want to do? Oh, we have a free a free pool too. We're gonna do that. A boo. That's just an attack. And it looks like this is just draw ten. These are just tickets. So all we can do is this. I'm gonna do one ten pool. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just keep what I got after this. Um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Playing cards. Attack. That's pretty cool. It makes me want to pull some more, but I don't know what the draw odds out of this jewel deal are. Like, can you get key art out of this? Key scene. Key art. Yeah, you can get key art. So maybe, maybe we will pull more. Let's go ahead and pull. Why not? Why not pull, right? Might as well try. It's a new game. We want to get kind of set up. And there's not a lot of cards in this game so far. So what's going to happen is we're just going to get leveled up a lot if we don't get any key arts. And it looks like you can take draw points and actually spend them draw points in buying cards in this game. So I guess if you have draw points from... What are these? If you have draw points from Union Cross... You can actually buy like key art and stuff like that. One of them is a thousand points. That is a lot. That's a lot of metals that you have to spend or or sell in order to get it. We did get a goofy down there. This is so different for me. Like <laughs> I 
needless to say, I do like the, the little change they did. It's nice that they did a little change. Alright, so that was my three pulls. We're going to go ahead and check this stuff out. Alright guys, so the pulls that you just saw was, you know, pulled yesterday. Um, I did spend some jewels, got some more, um, I was going to say medals, wow. I did get some more cards. Um, I can go ahead to my stats to show you guys what I have now. Um, I'm at level 16. Leveling up in this game is quite hard. I, I wouldn't say hard, it's just the difficulty is that you have to farm a lot. And with this game... You know, if you aren't a huge raider on Union Cross, you might not like this game because you have to grind a lot. And to me, I kind of do like that fact that you can just sit back, relax, and literally just go ahead and let let it do its own thing. Like, I can even show you some screenshots of me just letting it the game play while I'm at work, and I can kill thousands of enemies and basically get a bunch of BP, which is basically your XP up here, and, uh, I mean, that basically helps you level up and everything, and, you know, once, if you wait some time, you can do what I just did, and it gives you more BP, um, it is pretty cool, I do like it, um, I do have some new cards now on my second account on my tablet that I don't that's not my main account. I actually got one of the, I wouldn't say key hearts, it was like a key scene card. Pissed me off because I really wanted something really cool like that on this. Um, but, you know, it's what it is. It is definitely what it is. So we have that. We have album. I want to just kind of go through this with you guys so you guys can see that. And we also have that ticket, so we're going to do a, a ticket pool. And I think we get a free pool today, right? So here's all the different enemies that I, I fought and beat. Um... And then you can see all the different types of cards I got. Um, there's, of course, there's not a lot of cards because of what, you know, it's just it just released yesterday. And I wanted to get this video out to you guys yesterday, but my power went out. It was a huge storm yesterday. It was, and I finally got one of the videos, which is my VIP video, up yesterday. So I finally could work on this today for you guys. Um, I do have a key as well. That is the best way to get your BP. But if you are literally just like not going to be around your phone, if you're at work and your phone's just charging, you can literally just play one of the, what is this, one of the world world battles, and you can change the rank. Um, I keep it on one because I won't have to, I won't die or have to tap the screen, and then I just let it run its own little course. Um... The missions, of course, I maxed out that right now. So, I think they give you 20, like, main story quests that you can do. And in between the quests, you have to do certain things in world battle. Like, kill a certain amount of Heartless or earn so much BP. And then you can unlock more um, quests. I was hoping that they would give us more than 20 quests starting out. Like, maybe start out with, like, I don't know, 50 or 100. But 20... I mean, I did that in the first day, and now it's done. And with Union Cross, with their quest, they only update it, like, once a month. And it's only, like, ten quests. That's not a lot of quests. And I hope they kind of keep a faster pace with with uh, Dark Road. Because, well, it is new, but... I don't know. I'd, with it only being, like, world battle, and just, you know character leveling like I don't even know how far you can level up your character I know in Union Cross of course there's hundreds and hundreds of levels you can get I'm like 520 something maybe I think on Union Cross um, of course it's harder to level up on there um, at that point you know because once you're so far in Union Cross it takes way more XP to level up and that's how it is with this but it's like uh, like, I think when I hit level 10, it was, like, ridiculous amount of BP you have to get. Like, right now, I can't even level up with 53,000 BP because I need a lot more. I think I need 70,000, I think, to upgrade. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you events. So, in the events, and this is kind of something that I found out through 
the Wayfinders Discord, and they were talking on there, and they said the best thing to do is use the quest keys on the VP banner. I said, okay, well, I'll try that. But I was at work, so I couldn't really do that. So I just let it do its own little course and just earn PP on its own. But if you do this, that is, this is literally the best way. Because you can get, if, if you don't find two of them golden mushrooms, you can get 14,000 BP. But if you do find two, um, you can get two mushrooms in one go and you get way more. So, but this is of course one mushroom in this one. And this gives you 14,000 BP, which really isn't a lot. It actually is not a lot at all, um, but I mean, this is what Dark Road is right now. <laughs> um, I do like it. I think it is cool. We're close to getting that level up. Um, we do have the free draw today, and all right, we're going to do the free draw. Because yesterday I did all the draws. There's a lot of draws you didn't see because I was spending jewels and all kinds of shit. Because it was a new, you know, it was a new game and I just want to do it and I do like the fact that they they do this like when you get a multiple copies of one card they just blend them together automatically they don't even you don't have to do all the crazy shit that you have to do on Union Cross so that's cool wish me luck guys please wish me luck I really want one of these really special cards and I just don't feel like I have that kind of luck on this account for some reason Janie fucking Janie but that is new. I don't have a genie. So that's cool. At least it's a new card. But I really do want one of these like scenes. Or whatever. That's what it is. So I got stuff in the album. HP went up. And I mean it's pretty cool. I want to know what you guys think though. Like tell me in the comments down below. Like... You guys have been playing. You got. I went the menu like like it was Union Cross. Um, you guys have been playing this for the past. Well, yesterday it came out and today. Do you guys like it? And do you guys have you expected more out of Dark Road? Because I kind of did. I actually did expect a little bit more in Dark Road than just this. Maybe they will add stuff to this. You know, like they do and like they do in um union cross you know i i can only assume that they will um we also did get a lot of different stuff in union cross as well so if you go to union cross if you sign in today because i don't think yesterday it was a thing i believe it wasn't up yesterday um but if you go in today to union cross there's a bunch of things that they are giving us with the release of um, Dark Road. Now, they didn't give us any jewels, and I think the reason behind that is because you can basically spend jewels to get cards, and basically, like, if you have a bunch of jewels, you can just keep pulling and pulling and pulling, and there's only so many cards they can give you right now. Um, but, they did give us a bunch of different things that we can actually use in um, Union Cross, and there's also, like, some little bit of events in Union Cross that we can play as well. So, that is cool. But, let's go to the world map and show you guys. Let me go to stats first because I just got that genie card. and might switch it out to something. Did it switch genie on there? No, it didn't. Okay. So, if you go to world battle. Let's switch the rank. Let's go to rank 2. And... Because we should be able to be okay in, like, second rank. But if you put it on the first tier, right? Like, or, like, one star. You can... This is endless. You can literally do this endlessly. Um, if you are at a certain level. And, basically, if you're doing this endlessly... Now, you can see the BP up here is going up really, really, you know... You know... We're, we're getting tiny little bits of BP. But if you literally sit and have this play... Now, this is not even as... Like, this is more than what you get with the one star. So, if you just think about it. 
if you just put this phone or whatever you're playing, you uh, not Union Cross, but Dark Road on, if you just let this do its thing, and you walk away and you just do something else, you can basically just farm BP when you're not doing anything, or if you don't have keys. And with that, you can level up Xehanort and do pretty well for yourself um, when the day... Okay, there we go. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. It's so weird. My second tier is like, or like, I die quick in second tier for some reason. But if I do one tier, it will literally just do this endlessly. Or one star. One tier, one star. Same shit. Um, but it looks like we're only getting, we've only got these two worlds. So... We have Agrabah and we have um, Wonderland. That's all I basically have seen. And with them having Union Cross already out and all the different types of worlds we go to, I was expecting to go to all them worlds and just, you know, fight enemies endlessly. I didn't expect us actually not to walk around at all. Like, I thought we would be able to explore like we do Union Cross, but it's not that way. It's basically just us battling. It's just a big battling thing with cards. I, you know, I, I'm not against that. I do like I do like this. It's its own like little game, but I still feel like Union Cross is a better game because there's a lot more that you can do in Union Cross. But this is, you know, something that just released. There's only so many cards you can get. They will update those things. So, I'm not too worried about that. I do like that we have this. I do like what, you know, what they're doing with this and where this may go. So, I just want to know what you guys think. Did you guys like it? Are you disappointed with it? You know, any of those things. And tell me what you guys, you know, pulled if you did pull any cards or not. So, yeah. Remember to leave this video a huge like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the Wayfinders Union Cross groups, you can hit us up by hitting the Discord link down below to the Wayfinders Discord. Once you're in there, we can set you up in one of our groups. And if you don't play Union Cross or Dark Road, you can still go ahead and join our Discord, make friends, and talk about Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts there. If you want to check out any of the Wayfinders YouTube channels, all of their channels are linked down below. If you want to donate to this channel, you can go ahead to our Patreon, also linked down below. And if you want to check out our merch, that is at MaryLeroy.com. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.